What's up guys? So you guys saw this plant right here capture this spider about two weeks ago and since then has been in the digestive process consuming the spider. And it has been a little bit over three weeks since the same exact plant but a different trap was viewed capturing this slug right here. And as we figured, because the spider's legs were sticking out, the plant was not able to get a clean sill, ultimately resulting in air being around the prey as it was being consumed, which caused fungal and bacterial growth. This growth caused the trap to start to die off. You can see the trap also started to grow mold. So to prevent any systemic issues, we're going to cut the trap off so that it can't harm the rest of the plant. Now as a comparison to a non-clean catch to a clean catch, when this slug was caught, at the very last second you can see it pulled its tail in, allowing the plant to get a clean seal. This clean seal, even though the slug was caught one week before the spider, allowed the trap to stay healthy and to continue to consume its meal with no issues at all.